Welcome to part 2 of the fusion power plant build series. Now in this one we are going to focus on the production of chlorine. First chlorine plasma is going to be the main source for the fusion reactor which we will use to power the dute hydrocarbon plasma reactor. So this is going to focus a lot on the bedrock ore processing part cause for producing chlorine there are not a lot of ways you can go around it. It's a pain to produce. Also make sure to vote in the poll which I made for the deuterium oxygen or the helium 3 plasma. Anyways, so let's start by first taking a look at chlorine so we can make it. So we have chlorine pinwheel which is an infinite source. However, you will need to find a lot of this cause chlorine will be consumed at a rate of 400 millibuckets per second. So chlorine pinwheel is out of the option. Now for producing chlorine gas, we have mollicite, soda light, uh, chlorocalcite, stuff like that. However, the main source I am going to use here is going to be vitriol. Because this one will give chlorine, sulfuric acid, iron and mercury. However, it is pretty easy to produce as it doesn't require any high performance solvent which once again takes chlorine to make. So that's that. So I'm gonna place a lot of these large mining drills here. And this one will give us a continuous supply of bedrock ore. With speed 3 you get a bedrock ore every 48 seconds. So to get an entire stack of bedrock ore it takes roughly 52 minutes something like that so yeah in like an hour or less than an hour you are gonna get an entire stack we have four of these so we are gonna get four stacks now we first start this entire chain by placing down the bedrock ore processor itself so this one requires power water and the bedrock ore itself to run so for water we need to place down either a infinite barrel or the groundwater pump and make sure there is ground beneath it like grass it won't work on stone concrete stuff like that so the groundwater pump and the bedrock ore processor these is gonna give us the initial six types of different bedrock ores six or less than that but yeah that is what the output is gonna be for the bedrock ore processor then we place down our first pyrolysis oven connect these two machines using a conveyor line and the ejectors all of the ejectors in this entire video will have an ejection speed upgrade so yeah that's the default next up we place the ore acidizer which is gonna wash the basically ore the bedrock ore that the pyrolysis oven is going to roast and the ore acidizer will have a speed 3 power 3 upgrade set it to water don't forget that and the oven by the way are yeah, the speed 3 and power saving 3 upgrade now we connect these two and uh, yeah with the connection done it should start looking something like this. The next machine in our list is going to be the centrifuge. Because when we wash these bedrock ores, we need to process them in a centrifuge. And this will give us the primary fraction of the bedrock ore. So there we go. We have placed down the centrifuge. And when we process things in a centrifuge, we will get the primary fraction and along with that gravel. Now gravel is useless so that is where the second output here comes in and uh, for this one we have gravel as whitelisted and it's just gonna go in an inserter which has its uh, basically overdrive or not overdrive the overflow destroy mode on so that's that as for the primary fraction it's gonna end up in a second pyrolysis oven because remember that every operation that we do in a pyrolysis oven we are gonna get 50 millibuckets of vitriol and we want to maximize the amount of vitriol we can get so we can maximize chlorine so that's that so with that done the pyrolysis oven placed we now place a buffer tank down for vitriol and now it's time to start connecting some pipes so first thing first both of the pyrolysis oven are gonna produce this thing so we connect this and this time i'm using pipe anchors because hey, these are pretty fun to use actually so yeah that's connection done and uh, make sure to also set the pipe anchors themselves with that the entire line will be set and i'm gonna place some steel grates here and make the final connection and with that both of the pyrolysis oven will now deposit their vitriol in the buffer tank same goes for water because uh, we want to supply water to the bedrock ore processor and also to the ore acidizer. So we connect the electric groundwater pump to these two machines. Set the entire line to water. So that's the ore acidizer. And with that, that's the bedrock ore processor. Also steel grates once again. Because these look pretty cool. And if you were making an industrial build, this would fit in perfectly. 
All right, so from the vitriol, the output, the buffer tank of the vitriol, I mean, the output is gonna go in an electrolysis machine. Now I am gonna have a valve here so I can control when I want to make chlorine and when I don't want to make it because this is gonna be a batch production type of thing. We are not gonna make it continuously because the rate of production for bedrock ores is pretty slow. So the output is gonna be both the sulfuric acid and along with that chlorine gas. You can connect power however you would like to. I like using this kind of cable connector mixture. And with that, the pump will start running. The bedrock ore processor will have power. And for some final setups, the pyrolysis oven should have an output because all of the roasted primary fractions need to go somewhere. So you can just dump them and also make sure to connect both of the pyrolysis ovens to any sort of smokestack. And the ore slop also needs to be drained. With all of that done, now we take one of each type of bedrock ore that we are producing from the four different types of drilling the mining machines and we start the process. But the thing is with a single bedrock ore processor, this entire process was very slow. Like even if this video was not speeded up, you wouldn't be able to do uh, see the machines do their thing because the machines are in overdrive mode. They are going wacko. So I just added a second bedrock ore processor and now we can see this entire thing in action. So here comes the normal bedrock ore and the pyrolysis oven is just processing them near instantly. Same goes for the ore acidizer which is washing these roasted ores. So the washed variant will then go in the centrifuge which will separate out the gravel and the primary fraction. So we are filling up on gravel pretty quickly actually. And the pyrolysis oven will, this one, will give us our supply of vitriol. So yeah, that is the entire setup here, the main setup here. And uh, power consumption is roughly 2 mega g per second. Once the tank of vitriol is nearly full, we can empty it out in the electrolysis machine, which will give us a sulfuric acid, the chlorine gas, iron dust, and drops of mercury. So chlorine gas, this is what we have managed to basically make in this time. And once the entire four stacks of bedrock ore they are done processing so we are just waiting on this last pyrolysis oven which is struggling to keep up with the amount of output i should have used two here instead of one because yeah the primary fraction is like quite a good amount actually so once all is done this is the amount of vitriol and we empty it out to make some more chlorine gas and once i tested this before when i was just making this build randomly i managed to get nearly a full tank of chlorine gas. So with the amount we have right now, we have enough for roughly 467.5 seconds, which is eight minutes of runtime for a single fusion reactor running on chlorine. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Peace out my guys, stay safe.